hell no to the no 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 hell no nah. hell no nah, 2023 hell no nah. 2023 is ghetto as hell Hello and welcome to episode 14 of the Here for the Chaos podcast. We love consistency, consistency queen. I am your host, Lilac. We're just going to get straight into this. I'm just going to make one disclaimer that I'm filming this when my boyfriend is not here. You see me trying to use the gloves so I can put them on screen. I cannot guarantee this is going to be in focus. I'm not even going to try and act like I know if it's going to be in focus. The way this Airbnb is set up, I have to put my camera so far away from me that I can barely even see myself in the viewfinder. So I don't know if I'm in focus but I tried my best. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. We're going to be talking about SS Sniper Wolf and Shane Dawson. He who I never thought would be named on my channel, Shane Dawson. And another Voldemort, if you will, Jeffree Star. I don't even know if I'm using Voldemort correctly. I've never seen Harry Potter, was never allowed to. So ooh. don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, listen to my music. Let's get into it. S- S Sniper Wolf. I don't know if it's SS Sniper Wolf, if it's S -S Sniper Wolf, or if it's Sniper Wolf. So I'm just going to call her Sniper Wolf. I have never been her biggest fan. She's never actually been on my radar before. I just know that it's been eluded. Her content is boring because all she does is do these reactions. I'm putting air quotes because she doesn't really react. She just kind of sits and watches TikToks and is like, <laughs> oh, no way. He fell. <laughs> That the stuff want to be petty, right? How do you deal with a Karen? So this old stuff want to be petty. Oh, he got time. And she gets so many views for it. So if that's what I need to start doing, YouTube, you need to let me know. But yeah, she's never really been on my radar. She's cute. She's pretty, but that's about it. She's never been like super entertaining to me. And she seems like she got a bad attitude. Well, now I know today she does. She's recently gotten to a beef with Jax Films. Again, another creator I've never been super in tune with. I've never really seen his content. Just the way it is. I've heard of him. That's about as deep as it goes. But they're in a beef and they're in a beef because Jack has a habit of making satirical content to poke fun at, for lack of a better term, lazy creators. He had a beef with a creator named Jinx, who was literally just putting in full videos without making them transformative. So for those of you who don't know, in order to do reaction content on YouTube or any kind of content that includes other people's content, you're supposed to make it transformative, a.k.a. stopping the video every couple seconds and making a comment, making a funny edit of it, things like that. You can't just put someone's whole entire video in your video and not react to it at all. That is a copyright issue. So that's what he was doing. And Jack thought, you know, what would be funny and silly and wacky is if I started making a channel parodying all these people. That's kind of where this whole thing started. And Sniper Wolf really took it to a whole other level we didn't need to get to. So Jack started to call Sniper Wolf out for her lazy content and he made a parody channel called J -J -J Jack's Films playing off S -S Sniper Wolf. I feel like I'm at a bad EDM show. He's doing daily posting there reacting to her reactions. I will say this and I know that this might not be the most popular opinion but if I were Sniper Wolf I would be irritated. I mean every single video is about her. Well we got Sniper Wolf keeps deleting clips. Creators rise up. She's apparently copyright claiming his stuff. This is your brain. <laughs> Sniper Wolf. You get the point. Every single video is about her. She is totally wrong in the situation. I would be annoyed if I were her. At the same time, when you're a large creator, this debate happened with the SZA DMing a fan thing, which by the way, SZA, I'm on your side. Love you, girl. You have to learn to let certain things roll off your back. If she really wanted this to stop, maybe she could take it the legal route. I'm not really sure. I'm sure someone would view it as harassment at some point because every single video is about her. I'm not accusing Jack. I'm just saying like, if it really bothers you. There are routes you can take and the route she took is not one of them. They had a little bit of beef on Twitter. He tweeted a screenshot of her thumbnails. Then she tweeted in response, I'm going to have to start charging you 20% since you get your ideas from me. And then she followed it up with a couple more tweets. The only thing that is funny about you is your hairline. If your content was entertaining, it would reflect in your views. I'm not going to act all high and mighty like I haven't stooped this low before, but I will say commenting on people's looks just means like you have no argument. Also, here's the real hot tea. Your face in the 
those mug shots looks real different from one to the next. So I'm assuming you've gotten some work done and I don't feel like if you've had to change your entire face, basically, you should be talking about someone's hairline. Not saying that she looks bad. I do think she's pretty, but I'm just saying like, how are you going to comment on someone's looks when you literally altered yours to look like you want? I'm actually going to include him reading the other tweets because it's really funny. The only thing that is funny about you is your hairline. If your content was entertaining, it would reflect in your views. Bro is stuck in 2013 and wonders why people don't think he's funny anymore. Okay. Also, I hate bringing gender into this, but no one ever attacks the male react channels. Hmm. Let me just check something real quick. Okay. That's a dude. That's a dude. Okay, cool. So that happened. And then she decided to just escalate that to fuck and show up at his house. She even asked her Instagram followers, should I do it? Mm, should I do it? And whoever voted yes, you need to get your head checked. Even if you thought she was joking, she wasn't. She decided to go to his house while he was streaming and she was streaming and she live streamed the outside of his house, which is, say it with me, doxing. She totally filmed the complete outside of his house and live streamed it, which obviously got screenshotted and reposted and spread around the internet. One thing I don't play about is safety, especially when it comes to my family and my loved ones. I don't play about that. Obviously fucked up. So Jack gets alerted on his stream that Sniper Wolf is outside his house. He ends up ending the stream, obviously. So it, it's re like real, real. It's real. Wow. Yeah. She's, she's um, in the house right now, Jack. <laughs> Shut up. She's literally like outside your door. house. Right now. Like five minutes ago. ago posted. Wait, what? She's literally right outside your oh house. Oh my right god. This is happening right now. That's call the crazy. police. Actually. Wait, what? Call like call the police. No, no there's a video. Joke. She's outside That's your house right now. What the she literally on, on her Instagram. Video on her stream five minutes ago. I'm recording. Oh my god, she is she's outside her house. Record this right now. Doxing you. I agree. Yeah, that's the. Oh. Yeah, no, this is. Oh my god, that's horrible. No, that that is huge. Vi no, okay, it's not for privacy. And so oh much god. else. There's so much wrong with that. No, I'm not getting out, dude. That. No, no not stay inside. Call absolutely. Call, call the cops and show them the Instagram yeah. story. Hold on, I'm yeah. gonna go and inside. Aaron, no, 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 Aaron, don't, 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 too okay from a true crime girly women are just as crazy women's crimes are more personal she's scary she has prior charges as well i think one was armed robbery not the way she's smiling in this too okay what's the second one disorderly conduct slash fighting which shows that she is reckless and i mean armed robbery dangerous like come on girl and she looked happy about it too now I'm not going to say everyone that gets in a fight deserves to be in prison for the rest of their life. I think that we all know somebody that makes us just want to throw hands. Just, ooh, and that's not serious, YouTube. That's not a threat, okay? I'm not threatening nobody. But I'm also not excusing her behavior. She's a grown-ass woman. She's older than me. I'm not trying to use the, you're XYZ old, so you should act better. I'm not saying that, but I am saying at a certain age, you know right from wrong. You know that actually pretty young. I would say you get a good, at least beginner's grasp of it when you're a teenager. You know right and wrong. You know right and wrong, and you know not to be out here fighting and not to be out here sneaking on people's property. That's horrifying. I have had stalkers show up to my house. It is one of the scariest feelings and you never feel safe after that. And that's feeling unsafe without her doxing. Now you add on to it that hundreds of thousands of people know where you and your family live. That's sick. And over some videos, you've got to do better than this. But this started with Jack tweeting, Sniper Wolf just doxed me on her Instagram. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers. YouTube demon 
demonetize this dangerous creator or just get her off your platform. She posted an IG story right outside her home and then deleted it. And then the Twitter war begun, hunty. Then he said, imagine defending doxing. Cringe. Then Sniper Wolf posted, this creep has been harassing me for months, then plays victim saying I threatened him when I just wanted to talk to him. I have no ill intentions. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. Doxing is ill intentions. And I don't think that you're dumb enough that you didn't consider that. I just, I don't. But also, he seems like a pretty successful creator in his own right. So I'm not sure who the fuck you are saying that he's trying to start drama just for bills. He started this whole channel to make fun of you. It's a couple months old. He's already at almost 500,000 subscribers. And is that close to your sub count? No, but it's been two months. Two months consistently. The channel's like a year old, but he's only been posting for two months consistently. His other channel for almost 5 million, not stealing food off of your table, girl, just to start drama. How are you going to say he's starting drama when you showed up to this man's door? Talk about, I just want to talk. Girl, he doesn't know you. That is so weird of you. Oh, she got 34.2 mil. That's a lot. That is a lot. Let's see her, her latest video. I've never really watched her videos. Let's see what all the hubbub is about. This one's called people having a very bad day. I mean, she was pretty reactionary in that one. Maybe she started to be because of this whole scandal. Let's see. Let's go back to an older one. I mean, she seems pretty reactionary to me. Maybe she's fixed that because of her being called out. She's not very funny. I'll say that. But, you know, she's saying enough. I don't even know why I went off on that tangent. His response was, I have no ill intentions. Sniper Wolf, you showed up to our home tonight and filmed it for your 5 million Instagram followers to see. That's called doxing. The harassing you claim I've been doing is documenting recent examples of you stealing creators content, stealing jokes, and failing to provide transformative commentary. Obviously, it struck a nerve, but wow, doxing me was not on my bingo card. None of what I've talked about on this channel has been on my 2023 bingo card. Let me tell you, there is no reality where you're in the right here. I agree. He then posted, you know what? Fuck these gloves. You're just gonna have to deal with the one on because it just does not work on the phone. It works kind of, but not enough for me to push through it. It's fucking annoying. So then he posts a video of her scrolling on his J -J Jack's films channel of all the videos of her. This guy's entire channel is just me, me, me. Every single video for the past few months has been about me. And it's just like shitting on me. And then his streams. This dude is just like low-key harassing me. Like, should I get a restraining order? Okay, and on the screen she said, this is obsessive behavior. Is this really the only way you can get views on YouTube? Don't you have a wife? And I don't know, some men are weird. Some men do neg and, and you know, I don't think he's trying to fuck you though. I think he's making fun of you. Now, is he taking it too far? Honestly, internet, you may not like this opinion, but yes, I do think he is. It's a little strange that every single video is about her. It seems like the joke was funny at first, but you took it a little too far and now it's weird. I will agree with her, it's weird. He said to that video, she ends this with, should I get a restraining order? Well. One of us showed up to the other's house tonight and it wasn't me. Hmm, I gotta agree with him there. He's coming in hot with the logic. I will tell you that. Apparently his wife then tweeted, Dear YouTube, YouTube creators, and Team YouTube, I am not a creator, but my husband is. Tonight, Sniper Wolf came to my home, posted it on her Instagram for all to see, and tried to instigate a confrontation. I now have to worry about what she, as one of our favored creators or any of her many fans may do to harm me or my family. I am a regular human that works a normal eight to five corporate job that happened to fall in love with a YouTuber. She might claim that she's coming after a bully, but she's actually stalking and doxing normal people with no power. I am an example of this. I beg you, what can you do to help us to keep us safe? I can relate to that. My boyfriend is not a content creator whatsoever. He actually hates social media. I mean, I do too a little bit, but I would never, never, never want to put him in a position like this where we get docs, I would feel so bad. Luckily, my man's, um, I'm not going to specify what he does because it's, you know, it's real secret or whatever. But for his job, let's just say if anybody came after me or tried to find me or stalk me, um, I would be covered. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Yeah, I could see how she would feel horrified. Sniper Wolf posted a text message between her and I'm assuming a friend and said 400 videos online shitting on someone, but wanting to talk in real life goes too far. Modern men are actually a joke. Girl, you are so far off. It's fucking crazy. You are insane for that take. If you wanted to talk to him in person, you probably could have. You probably could have just messaged him. Hey, this is getting too far. Can we talk about this? I would prefer it be in person so nothing gets misconstrued. But instead, you 
You showed up at the man's house on a live stream and you showed the front of his house. And what pisses me off about most of these conflicts, if the roles were reversed, all hell would break loose. Imagine a male creator showing up to a female creator's house on live and showing the whole front of her shit. First of all, I know Sniper Wolf, you would lose your shit. I would lose my shit. Anybody would lose their shit. But you can't comprehend when you're the perpetrator that it's wrong. Like imagine if you were making videos on a creator and then they just showed up to your house. You would flip shit. He says in response to that delusional. Anyways, Team YouTube, you up? Got time to ban a literal stalker? She's also called herself a stalker. And whether it's joking or not, that didn't age well. She then posted, accusing me of doxing is defamation. It's not when you literally do it. We need to stop throwing around legal terms that we don't know anything about. And we also need to stop acting so so happy. When it really comes down to it, you really want to be in a years long lawsuit. And also defamation has to result not my cat choosing to be horny when I'm filming. Kim J, <sighs> girl, go get your nuts somewhere else. I'm filming. <laughs> in order to win an actual defamation suit, you have to prove a loss of income, a loss of revenue. And it seems like your channel's doing just fine. So good luck with that one, girly. Obviously, it's not she's not going to take it to court, but it just annoys me <laughs> that we throw that around so much. It's like gaslighting, narcissism. Like we just take terms on the Internet and we just crush them. We just crush them to death until they don't mean anything anymore. She said, accusing me of doxing is defamation. I have no idea how to dox. You did. Don't, okay, don't play stupid. Like people don't know how to dox. You know how to dox. Anybody could dox. He literally posted his address on Google and said I threatened him and doxed him. I don't believe that he posted his address on Google, but if it is public information, because a lot of housing information is public, there's one thing between it being public and then you going out of your way to put it out there on a live stream to your 30 plus million subscribers slash follower audience, making it seem like you're being wronged with someone who's in the public eye and you know people get crazy about that and crazy about their favorite creators and don't play dumb it does not suit you he said you posted a video tonight of you outside of our home for your five million plus followers to see while my wife and i were inside i can't make it any simpler than that if that's not doxing why did you delete it facts on facts on facts he's really coming through and that's pretty much it he's just adding team youtube and youtube to get her removed from the platform she's since made it a big old joke she took a picture with her friend and was like if we show up to your house what are you doing calling the cops okay that's what i'm doing when I'm calling the cops. It's been speculated and pretty much proven on Reddit. Shout out to Reddit that because of this, she lost her biggest sponsorship or one of her biggest sponsorships, which was G Fuel. And at first this was only speculative, but if you look on this Reddit post, they actually show that when you try to go to her section on the website, it'll give you a 404 not found error, or it will say currently not available. It won't say sold out. They made sure to post pictures of what it looks like when her products were sold out versus the unavailable. It looks like they literally just pulled everything off the website. Would I put it past the company to come back when things died down? No. But for now, that says some girl, you should definitely know you're wrong now. You out here tripling down for what? Now you gonna have to start doing some drama to pay your bills, right? Mm, karma's a bitch. That's pretty much that on that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Moving on to a very small portion of this video because I really want to keep it short and I am a talker as y'all can see. Shane Dawson coming in hot with the Chuck E. Cheese video part two. And this one I actually cared about. At first I heard he posted a video about makeup and I was like not this fool coming back in to act like he gave a shit about makeup when he clearly didn't we really let him get away with this makeup look but this one right here we let him do this and sell us makeup chow Mm, what a crazy time that was. There's been a lot of that group in the media lately because Jeffree Star is shading James Charles saying that his makeup is unoriginal and he's not gonna buy the Predator paints. I'm gonna say on Rich's Live, I will never review the Predator paints. Oh, you, you know, you know. I will I never re review those at all. And they're not even eye safe. Wow, are you serious? Baby, those red lakes and that, and those eyes. I'd like to have eyes when I'm young, when I'm older. You buy one one of those paints, you're supporting a flight for a 16 year old, potentially, allegedly. Allegedly. So <laughs> terrible. There you go. Y'all were asking, y'all kept asking Jeffrey over and over and uh -huh. over. So he just no. answered. Product was made by Mac Cosmetics 20 years ago. They had paints. P. Louise re re then reinvented it, and there's nothing new or exciting about it. I think it's just five years too late, honestly. That's just no shade. I think it's 
washed up this thing. And I can't support someone that's just not a decent human being. First of all, Jeffrey, you're a pro you've had multiple accusations that you've allegedly may go bye-bye you have very predatory behavior i mean look at the jokes you made with them about wanting to fuck andrew and trying to get him in a threesome and paying his rent for a threesome he was clearly uncomfortable let's not talk miss thing he was saying on a live stream with rich lux and eugenia cooney which i don't agree with i don't think eugenia cooney should be platformed right now I'm gonna take a hard stance on that she needs help and i don't care if that offends people it's obvious she needs help and it makes me sad to see her and i don't think she should have a platform until she can disconnect and get healthy. So I already don't agree with this whole group saying he doesn't want to buy from people that aren't good people like you haven't been horrible online. So then segue to his little bestie over here, Shane Dawson. Now this part's actually interesting. He went to test out if when you return makeup, some discount stores, which hurts my heart because I am a Ross ass bitch till I die, would just put it right back on the shelves and it wouldn't be sanitary. People would literally, in theory, be able to dip their fingers in, close it, return it, and the stores would put it back on the shelves. So he tested this. He bought some makeup, put a little star on it so he could come back and see if it was what he returned. He returned it. And when he came back, that same makeup was on the shelf. Obviously, this is really fucking bad if this is true. I've worked in retail before. We never even even took refunds for makeup products and food and things like that. So I don't know if it's maybe just this location or what's going on. That's so gross, especially post COVID. People got germs. It's got to get thrown away. So if this is true, a rare W for Shane Boo Boo Dawson, because that's interesting and definitely something I appreciate knowing if it's true. I don't appreciate a damn thing, a damn other thing the man does, but I would appreciate and do appreciate that. So you got your first makeup community point. You're still in the negatives. I would say you're at about like negative 900, 900, 900,009. How the fuck do numbers work? You're at negative 900,009. <laughs> 900. <laughs> I'm down there with you at this point, but you are at negative 999,000. 999,000. You're a negative a million, okay? That's what it is. And now you at negative 999,000. And if the math ain't math in chat, I don't want to hear it in the comments. That's pretty much that on that. Um, yeah i'll try to come back in the next podcast looking cute looking right because i feel very self-conscious with no makeup i feel like i look ugly as hell right now but i'm just gonna make it work because i'm trying to get consistent y'all i'm trying to mm, i don't know what this motion is actually i probably shouldn't do that i'm trying to get consistent i'm trying to grow the growth on my channel i've already experienced is amazing thank you guys so much make sure to like comment and subscribe leave your green screen glove recommendations listen to my music and i will see y'all next time when hopefully the earth ain't so ghetto